Hello, I'm Jeff Byers, and I'm going to take you through the process of adding a displacement map in Arnold and changing it into a mesh object. So, um, the first place we're going to start is Substance Share, which is a f uh, free exchange platform. And um, I want you to go, we can look at brushes. Um, They've got lots of brushes you can check out. This is uh, speci specifically for Substance Designer and Substance Painter. So um, make sure you check these out. Uh, what I'm interested in looking at is uh, materials and um, showing you how to use these materials to help with um, uh, pulling the uh, height map and normal maps from these. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is you can search uh, by typing in rock or just clicking on the word rock down here. And they've got tons of things in here you guys can look at. Um, displacement maps are great to add large detail, stuff that you absolutely cannot do with height or with um, with normal maps. So. Um, you can go ahead and go through these and uh, pick one and then download it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select this guy right here. And uh, there's no rhyme or reason, um, but you can see that uh, some some of the artists will show you what it looks like. It looks pretty cool, so I'm going to go ahead and download that. And um, so you just basically download it. Um, and get started, but you do have to register uh, to be able to log in to be able to log in and uh, to download it. All right, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and get that off. Okay, so we get started by creating a scene. Uh, to get started with, so we're going to go into Polygon Plane and we're going to go ahead and do uh, 20 subdivisions for both of those and turn off the grid and then we're going to go ahead and um, add a new material I'm going to go ahead and add a AI standard surface. And we're going to call this uh, rock texture. And make sure it's selected. We're going to go ahead and export that out. OBJ export. And we're going to go ahead and uh, work with uh, on top on the desktop here uh, just for quick um, exporting and importing otherwise you're running off your flash drive or hard drive we may slow things down a little bit okay so go ahead and call this rock uh, texture and displacement all right, so export that out, and then the next thing we're going to do is going to go into uh, Substance Painter. So go ahead and open that up, and if you don't have it, you can get it free from Algorithmic um, Substance Painter, and you can get the student version for free. All right, so we're going to click on File New, and we are going to do PPR Metallic Roughness. Okay, and mesh, let's go ahead and select the mesh, and we're on the desktop, and there it is, open that up, and direct text will be fine, we're going to go ahead and change this to 4096, we want to get as high resolution of a map as we can, and let's go ahead and click OK. Now we are going to have to move this around to see the flat plane because it is uh, single-sided okay so 
I'm going to go ahead and bring in our new uh, material. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and under the shelf, we're going to go ahead and add a new texture that we downloaded. So click on Add Resources. And we're going to go into the Resource folder and click on Rock Face. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click on Open. And next to the Rock Face, we have an Undefined, so make sure you click on it and go to Base Material. Uh, uh, next to Import Your Resources to, we're going to go ahead and import um, to the shelf. If you have that, uh, if you have that option, go ahead and select that. That'll permanently put it on your shelf. So let's do that. There's the rock f uh, face. Okay. So up here, you see, you can see under the layers, we're going to go ahead and add a fill layer. Okay. And we're going to drag and drop this new rock face into that layer. Okay. And this will take some time for it to actually. Uh, create that rock face so uh, there we go that looks pretty good okay so we can do a couple things here to see what that looks like and go into uh, the normal channel to see what the normal looks like and we can also go into the height map to see what that looks like okay that looks pretty good so we'll give that a try and um, basically what we're looking to do is is pull all the materials out of this and uh, create a really cool surface and a uh, base mesh. So after that is completely done then we can go in here and export the uh, export the textures. Alright so we need to tell it where we want it to go. So I'm going to go into the desktop and click on this folder right here and um, select that folder and then we are going to go into uh, we gotta make sure that that says uh, PBR metal roughness okay so click on that and I'm going to turn the common padding to no padding pass through and it's really up to you what you want to do with that, but I tend to like to do that. I'm going to click on over override padding and um, basically we're good with that. And then in configuration, I want to click on the PBR metal rough. Okay, go back to export and click on export. All right, so. Um, this is it for the first video and uh, we'll come back and I'll show you how to apply all the textures and height map information um, on in Maya.